Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am Radimal Adivanjo, a medical doctor. I'm here with Sister Oshon Margaret, Margaret, who had a left leg pain of two years duration, but tonight her story has changed. She cannot speak English, but the son will be able to tell us the testimony. God has did for us this evening. This is my mother. We are from Benway State. Before the program begin, since two years now, she cannot use the left leg very well. Sometimes she will call that the legs could not make her to walk for a period of time. Whenever time I called her, she will be complaining of the leg. Sometimes they will call me that. My mother cannot be able to come out for good two days. I say, ha. So, sometimes when pro, uh, pastor used to have program from one place to another, I used to call her. Even when I'm at A4, I used to call. When the uh, pastor would be praying, I would tell, I would tell her to, uh, to on her phone so that she can be able to, to partake also because of the distance. So, sometimes when the, the crusade now comes to her turn, then I told her that she's coming to Ogun State and she's going to be among the candidates that will give the, first, uh, the testimony. And last week, I have to, we have to come down to this place. Even when we came, she was, she was, and she said that I am old, I am free, that this leg has. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. want to remind us that tomorrow morning, as we earlier on said, tomorrow morning, 6.45 a.m., we will start the program. The Lord will surely bless you abundantly. Uh, before we go to the next testimony, let's listen to this online testimony. Right now. If you can, if you notice, can notice there are a lot of there holes, holes on this X ray. Those holes are actually bullets that were fired into this. And unfortunately, I was a victim of gunshots. And then when I was shot, they said it's 72 bullets. And I was not aware of it. So I was rushed to the hospital. And in the hospital, through the prayers of the children of God, I prayed that God stood by me. I was taken to the theater because everything, the bullet affected my stomach. My stomach was swollen up. And they had to do surgery. Surgery was carried out on me. They had to put nasogastric tube from my nose through my throat to my stomach. And now it was bringing out greenly something. I don't know. Then I couldn't urinate. They used urinary catheter on me. While with those two pipes, I was with drip. After the drip, blood was transfused into my body from my two siblings. It was not still enough. I suffered in the hospital to the point that everything was now affecting my leg. The doctor said they are going to cut off this my right leg because it was not functioning again. I was praying to God, oh God, will I come back to this world with two legs and go back with, with one and a half leg? I was praying, God, I just baptized in May and now this thing is happening to me. God, please, let me serve you first before I will come to, uh, to meet you. So the Lord stood by me that I was, I, 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 I cried to the Lord in the hospital, but to the glory of the Lord, this leg they wanted to cut, I can join with the leg, I can do everything with the leg. Praise the Lord. I want to tell you, if you want to serve God, serve the living God, because he's a living God, as he lives, you also will live. Praise the Lord. When Nicholas Uleriu said, I want to thank God. Tonight, I had listened to this message with backache. But after the complete dominion prayer tonight, there was dominion over backache. And it is gone completely. 
And then I can tell you that Patience Monday, because we are celebrating an unlimited dominion here, and Patience Dominion says, praise the Lord. She says she's been having this serious stomach pain for years. But after the prayers of the man of God tonight, remember something about that final amen. The pains disappeared. Another pain, this time lower abdomen. His name, Mademeldo John from Europe. He wrote, from, wrote to YouTube. He said, after the last amen tonight, that lower abdomen pain completely vanished away. Glory to God. And then this is coming from Sister Lovett Okoli, who's had a swelling on her back for seven years. In fact, before the crusade, it was even bringing out pores. But the power of the Most High God visited her tonight. And after the prayer of the man of God, the operation of heaven was done. The swelling disappeared, the pores all dried up, and now she has complete dominion. Ten years heart disease. Ten years heart disease. Completely dominated by the power of the living Christ. This one is from Mary Iheguazu, and it is completely done to the glory of the Lord. That came from Bayelsa State. Now we take you to the one that just came in from Taraba. And then we have this coming in from Sister Florence Okoye. Sister Florence Okoye says, um, she's writing in from Okija Group in um, Anambra. She's been having severe heart attack, which led to partial stroke. This always comes with excruciating pains. Someone invited her to the program. And after the ministration, according to her writing, all the pains disappeared, partial stroke gone, now she can walk, no more pains. Problem of four years, just one night, all gone. Indeed, complete dominion. And before we return to the state of Asia, Roman Khalid wrote this one from Asia. Says he wants to thank God. A five year ago, developed a growth. He developed a growth on his pelvis. And he says, according to his writing, that after the prayer of the man of God, that growth, remember, our father mentioned growth. And that growth simply disappeared. That swelling gone away, dominated by the power of Jesus. We give glory to God as we return to our state overseer now. Everybody shout. Praise the Lord. We listen to the next testimony here at the Alpha location here. I have here sister Olola de Oluboyede. She was wondering about yesterday and having a rational talk, but God has changed her testimony. She will tell us now. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I thank God for delivering my daughter. Yesterday, we were looking for her from evening from around 4 o'clock evening till 12 a.m. She was nowhere to be found before the police station. She said she was, she, she, want, she wanted to go and complain. Complain of what? What's happening? What do you want to complain? She said she was talking rationally, saying all jargons, everything. I said, no problem, let's go. We get to up to, up to now, she didn't sleep. So when it's around four o'clock, I said, that is a crusade now. Let's go to this crusade. He said, okay, 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 okay. And we were here. But what I noticed was that when uh, the pastor that was singing, that sang the song, when, she, when the pastor was singing, she followed suit. She started singing the song. I said, eh? I thank God though. After the prayer, she just called me. She said, Mommy, I want to go and testify because I know that something is happening to me since maybe yesterday. But today I can understand that I'm now okay. I can talk. But since when we have since four o'clock that we have been here, she didn't say anything. She was just looking mood to keep moody. I was afraid. 
But now I thank God. I glorify the name of the Lord for deliver us from the power of darkness. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Give her the mic. So you tell us your name. What's your name? This is Oluboyede. Where are you? Yeah. Do you know what happened to you? What happened to you? Yes. Just tell us briefly what happened to you. Well, I'm a talkative. I talk, I talk irrationally about people. So I was what happened disturbed. Now? Very, very disturbed. Do up till now. I'm still disturbed, but I know that God has saved me. Amen. Amen. God has saved you and you remain saved in his hand in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. The next testifier. Sister Anna Peter from Shagamu. She was hit by an iron boat in her abdomen, that's in the tummy, and then in the leg. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, all those things, pain, have disappeared. Let's hear it from her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Anna. I want to thank God for what God did for me tonight. It happened on Sunday. I was at my place of work, so we are asked to carry some load we have already done so i was like i want to make it and go back to apekuta tonight so that i can able to pick my daughter back to school on monday unfortunately i was like how will i pack this load so i decided to use the crock lift and there's a pallet iron pallet there so i packed the load on it that was my first time of using it so as i was going with it to go and drop it at the warehouse there's a sloppy area so as i was just going i couldn't control it that is how the thing was coming with force the next thing, the, the high-on pallet eats my leg, the, the, the vein side, and I eat myself on the high-on wall. I couldn't, I couldn't walk. I was just standing there. But I give God a grave because it was no more than that. They quickly rushed me and put me in a particular place. Then they tried to massage the leg, but the leg was swollen. I couldn't walk very well. So I went back home. That was that Sunday, back to Shagam. And on Monday, the same thing. I couldn't go to work. So on Tuesday, I said, I will manage and go to work. I manage and go to work. Wednesday night, which is yesterday, it was hell. I couldn't cope. So today I said, since I've made up my mind, I'm going to come for this program on Sunday. But since I cannot cope, I will go today. As I was coming, I was just walking with pain. And I was telling someone that this thing is swollen up, but I can't walk well because my lap and my tie was paining me. To God be the glory, I have faith. I said, after the prayer of the man of God, I will walk well. And to God be the glory, as after the altar just prayed, he said, the final amen, I was just walking. In fact, I'm walking. The place was so long, but I'm walking. Praise the Lord. Let's walk. Let everybody see you up there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Before we listen to the next testimony, I want to remind us that... Tomorrow morning, by 6.45 a.m., workers in the vineyard of the Lord, ministers of all classes, all categories of ministers will be here, and then professionals from different walks of life. There is something good for us here, a conference, anchored by our Father in the Lord, and it will surely be a time of blessing, and a time of breakthrough in Jesus' name. Don't forget. And also, all of us who had cancel uh, one convert or the other this evening, we must personally guide them to Edwin Hall. On my right hand there, that cream colored upstairs. That's where they'll be having a lunch hour meeting uh, with the Lord. It's going to be a wonderful time. Make sure that they are there. 
be sure that the convert that you had cancelled tonight is there uh, at that meeting. God has something good for him. And there is something wonderful that will be coming from our Father in the Lord, uh, who has ministered to us tonight, over there tomorrow afternoon. So lead all converts to that place. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Don't just sit down listening to people as they testify what God has done for others. He can do for you also. So uh, get yourself ready so that you also, you share your testimony and uh, people of God will rejoice with you in Jesus' name. It appears uh, the testimonies are...